up rising how y'all doing today okay so um i just want to let y'all know look in somebody's story out here in the world you are the bad guy you are the villain you are at fault for why their life is in shambles some narcissistic toxic person out there is just smearing your name through the mud <clears throat> but just so you know because it is saturn retrograde and it's going to last until october all the good you put out is gonna come back fast all the bad that you put out is gonna come back fast so i suggest you be careful about what you think what you say and what you do so unfortunately for me i can't stir the pot like i would probably want to about a certain situation but i'm gonna just let it slide because in the end i'm reaping all my good karma oh my god things are just falling into place right but we're gonna roll right on into it somebody emailed me and was like so how do you know that you're chosen well i mean do miracles happen in your life every day you know what i'm saying um you know were you the black sheep of your family the scapegoat where just like i was saying about how somewhere under the rainbow you are the villain in somebody's story um and then you have to be okay with that you know i mean you just like okay because you know there's no need to explain yourself or to you know explain yourself for what you a grown-ass woman or a grown-ass man explain yourself to who and for what you know what i'm saying a lot of people like you know because they don't understand what narcissism is they just go by these little lame definitions you know these little you know you have to actually deal with people who on a daily like lifelong basis to really know i mean you know and some people just don't understand but anyways to me most you know chosen people at some point have dealt with some witchy ass narcissistic person toxic person been in a relationship with these types of people because these people are in darkness and they are drawn to the light they can't help it the darkness can't comprehend the light but they want it and that is crazy as hell but you know um chosen people generally have a lot of different spiritual gifts um you know i've always had spiritual gifts i just it's not like anybody ever taught me how to utilize them i just been figuring things out as i go or i come across people more or less got to put certain people across my path that know certain information and they'll put me on to some shit and i'll be like huh this makes sense this is why this happened or this is why okay cool i think i understand myself a bit more um generally you know meditation helps you enhance your spiritual gifts and there's many of them out there you know what i'm saying uh, most people, you know, who are chosen, they've been that way since they were kids. Always, you know, the oddball out, you know, the family that already, always, always, and even to this day, has treated you differently. Um, you're like the, I'm going to say the chosen one in a person's family, they're the ones that's going to pave a different way for that family. So, for example, in my family, I'm not even talking about my brother, but just as far as healing the bloodline of my mother and my father, I'm the one that was chosen to break the generational curses, to break the cycles, to break the chains, to do something different. You know, um, generally as a chosen person, you already have an idea of the battles you'll face on a spiritual aspect you just don't really know how to go into battle because shit who gave you armor who 
taught you how to strap the fuck up and protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? And so, shit, you got your ass beat, whooped. After a while, you was like, fuck, okay. I need to go make some armor. You go make that armor. You go up against an enemy out here because there's a, there's a level for every devil. So, you know, sometimes when a whole bunch of things go wrong, just know that there's a blessing on the other side of all of that bad shit you know and technically it's really not even bad it's all it all depends on your perception you know what i'm saying um another way you could tell that you may be chosen is your particular um uh, the the ability to communicate say with animals or plants some people certain empaths are more in tune with you know trees flowers things of that nature that certain elements certain people can sense like disasters that will happen before they happen such as like earthquake earthquakes tsunamis fucking tornadoes all of these things because they're in tune with nature that they can feel it just like animals will run before a storm empaths can feel when one is coming those are the people who be like it's about to rain they can smell that shit before it's about to rain and that shit is crazy to me i can't do that shit i don't want to smell when it rains because i don't like the rain like that but you know i can speak for myself me i'm more in tune with animals you know what i'm saying i love animals and I would never want to run one over or anything like that. So there are certain abilities. You know, some people can think it's crazy. It's only crazy to people who ain't chosen, who don't have that ability, who can't understand how, you know? And I say that because, I mean, shoot, I know these animals can't hear me in my car when I be like, stay your ass on the white get your ass like they about to cross the road i'm like get your ass back across that motherfucking line because there's no stopping i will hit you back your ass up and you know this deer this deer was like oh shit let me take a couple steps back then i'd be like all right now cross your ass across the street then i look in the mirrors and shit they didn't ran i'd be like put some pep to your step hippie hop and get your ass on in the grass then they get into a full gallop or a full hop, depending on what kind of animal it is. You know, a mama rabbit and her babies in the middle of the road. There's no way at 40 miles an hour I'm about to just stop on a dime. And if I swerve left or swerve right, I'm going to run some of y'all over. So stay y'all asses in the middle. Don't move. Freeze. <laughs> I'm going to ride right over you. Go right over all of them. I'd be like, now hop your asses in the grass. ASAP. Pronto. Andale, andale. They get the all running. Full speed. You know what I'm saying? You know, animals can sense, you know, evil people. And they can sense good people. You know, there's been many a times a person be like, my dog is ferocious. Man, your dog is a puppy. Come here, little dog. That dog, that dog turns into a whole puppy around me. You know, if anything, animals feel safe around me just like children do. People, period, feel safe in my energy. So that's just my gift. You know, people feel comfortable as a chosen one or an empath. People feel comfortable coming up to you. They will open up about their entire life. You, you were just walking by. Hey, how you doing? Well, you know, and go into their whole life story about them having a divorce. They just went through a breakup. And for the longest time, it was totally unexpected to me. Because I'm like, do you really just go up to strangers and just tell your whole story? I don't have a problem listening. Because I'm not that ain't ever going to see you again anyway. But... You know, these are just signs that a person is chosen. Like, they just stand out. You know what I'm saying? There's just things that they do differently than anyone else. From the style of clothes that they like to choose to wear to 
how they walk, where they hear, how they talk. Their energy is just different. You know, they, it doesn't matter what they do to try to fit in. They were always called to be apart from everyone else. So, um, these are some signs that you might be chosen. Or maybe you know somebody who is chosen because, I mean, not everybody is. And that's just facts. I mean, a lot of people profess with their mouth that they know God, that they love God, but their heart is far from them. So, you know. But, yep. Yeah. So, I hope that helped to the person that emailed me wondering. So, anyways, like, share, subscribe. Alright, holla at y'all later. Peace. Positive energy always creates elevation. Hurry, y'all.